Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Bhati Online. In the existing digital signal processing lecture series, next we are going to see about parallel form realization of digital IAR filters. Let's see the video. So parallel form realization will be in this format. So H of Z equal to C, that is a constant plus summation of k varies from 1 to n so that means it is based on number of poles so in the denominator we are having 1 minus pk z power minus 1 and again in the numerator we are having ck so that is also constant so in this structure only we have to make the given transfer function then we have to realize each separate function then you have to connect everything into a single function so therefore your h of z is written like this c that is a constant then h1 of z plus h2 of z likewise up to h n of z so this will be implemented like this this constant is coming again h1 of z h2 of z everything is connected in a parallel manner then they are combined together and producing the required output y of n so this kind of realization is called as parallel form realization so now we can consider one example 3 plus 3.6 z inverse plus 0.6 z power minus 2 the whole divided by 1 plus 0.1 z power minus 1 minus 0.2 z power minus 2 so we have to rearrange this one like in this format so therefore we can go for general division principle so in the numerator we have 6 z power minus 2 plus 3.6 z inverse plus 3 and denominator we have minus 0.2 z power minus 2 plus 0.1 z inverse plus 1 so now divide this by this one so here you have to produce 0.6 so multiply by minus 3 means you will get 0 0.6 so minus 3 0.6 z power minus 2 then minus 3 into 0 0.1 you will get minus 0 0.3 z inverse then minus 3 into 1 you will get minus 3 so now change the signs here so these two becomes cancel and here you are getting 3.9 z inverse and here we are getting 6. So now this is otherwise written as so our quotient is minus 3 and the remainder is 3.9 z inverse plus 6 divided by 1 plus 0.1 z inverse minus 0 0.2 z power minus 2 so now we are having a constant and you are having another one function so here the denominator is a quadratic equation so therefore if you are finding the roots of this equation means we will get this format some constant divided by 1 minus pk z inverse so here apply partial fraction find the roots and apply partial fraction so therefore we will get 1 minus 0.4 z inverse plus b 1 plus 0 0.5 z inverse so these are the two roots by solving this partial fraction uh, this by partial fraction method we will get a is equal to 7 and b is equal to minus 1 so substitute these two values here so therefore we'll get h of z is equal to minus 3 plus a value is 7 so 1 minus 0 0.4 z inverse and b value is minus 1 1 plus 0 0.5 z inverse so now this is in terms of constant then constant divided by poles again constant divided by poles format so that is constant plus another one system h1 of z next the third system is h2 of z so now we have to combine 
draw these things in parallel form structures and combine the result. So if you are considering this H1 of Z means uh, to apply the direct form realization. So here our constant is 7. So we are having 7. Then there is a delay Z inverse and opposite direction it is going. So this minus 0 0.4 becomes plus 0 0.4. So like this we are having and this system output is added at the end. For this one we are parallelly connecting the C also. So C is parallelly coming here and that is also added here. So that is minus 3. Then this one parallelly connected to third system. So here again you are having an adder and you are having a constant value minus 1 here. Here is a delay in direct form 2 realization you are having a delay and denominator you are having plus 0.5 since it is going opposite direction you put minus 0.5. So these two are connected together and here also you fix one adder. So everything combined here, so therefore you are getting the final output y of n. And here it is nothing but x of n. The same x of n is divided into three category. Here also going, here also going, here also going. And finally you are getting a single output y of n. So this kind of realization is called as parallel form realization. So if you want to know about this direct form to realization in detail means you refer my previous video uh, the link is available in the description section if you are interested on this video means please like share and subscribe my channel Vati online thank you thanks for watching